Hello guys, my name is Adam Shadow and today I will show you how to use Macro scripts to basically do all matter of complicated or difficult button presses or mouse movements in games that often are necessary for competitive play but are simply too annoying to learn and practice or to take too much time to master or require too precise timings for humans. For example, this is a really easy example. You may know this about Minecraft and you can actually fire crossbows really quickly after each other. And obviously if you would practice enough you would eventually get to a point where you could unload all eight of them in like a split second which is devastating like if you load them with the harming two arrows or how yeah these things you can basically destroy people no matter their armor extremely fast basically you, especially combined with an elytra you basically turn into an attack jet with a fast firing machine gun your first idea might be that you could try this to, with drivers for your mouse or keyboard or whatever. These things are A. incredibly clunky, B. incredibly unpredictable, like you have very little idea what these things are actually doing, and the worst part is they are incompatible with each other. You may just have a different device, for example, a different model of of the mouse and it already might not work or it for example might only work on the mouse and you can't bind it to uh, your keyboard for example if you are using a laptop and not keyboard from your, the same manufacturer that's why people have invented a programming language called AutoHotKey I know it sounds difficult as programming language right like that probably really difficult all you need to do is download it run the installer and install it. After that nothing will happen initially, but if you make a folder, in this case I call it scripts, you can see you can make a new auto hotkey script. If this does not appear you can also do a text document and change this to AHK and then it turns into a script. So let me show you how to do this simple task. This is a very basic guide. I will not show you some of the more advanced features of this language, such as reading pixels from your screen or saving stuff in files or similar things. So let's call this Minecraft. And now if you double click it, it will run, but nothing will happen, so you have to open it, notepad. First things first, these things uh, are kind of meh, no, don't, they don't really do much. This thing, however, send mode input is really bad. For some reason, the uh, developers of this language just want to shove it up your throat like crazy, like they even mention either send input or send mode input that is somehow better or whatever. It's not better, it's not faster, it's not less laggy or anything. Actually, it creates a lot of problems in certain games where you can make really good macros, like GTA, for example. So, what we want to do? We want to first see what we can actually do in the game. What we need to do is we Let's say we are on slot 1, we need to switch to slot 2, hold right mouse button and after the right time switch to the other one and continue. And for firing we simply need to hold it for much shorter. We know that Minecraft runs around 20 frames per second, which will be pretty useful since now we can go here and even before we start with anything we can set key delay to 50 milliseconds so it when you 
when the command presses the button it will stay pressed for 50 milliseconds and another 50 milliseconds which will be the the, the interval between the individual button presses. Same thing with mouse delay. Mouse delay is not ideal if you want to move the mouse, but in this case we are not doing that. Now we st enter our first hotkey, which is the program basically calls the thing that starts it. We need two of these double dots, or how to call them in English. What we want to do now is send, this is basically the command to uh, press a button, these brackets, and the letter we want to press. In this case, to be one, or two, since we, are, we expect to be on a random slot in our inventory. Now, we want to hold the right mouse button. We want to hold it for longer than 50 milliseconds. So we can just send right mouse button. We actually have to send right mouse button press down, something like this, R button down. The exact delay in Minecraft for reloading crossbow, I had to look it up, is 500 milliseconds. So we sleep, which is basically like wait or do nothing for 500 milliseconds. Then we send right mouse button up. And this is all we need for the reloading. Now we just change these numbers. The reason why we can use them in brackets like these are because of these delays. Like normally people would actually try something like this, which also works if you, for example, enter things into like chat here in down in Minecraft. But this is much better for sending it to the actual game. Now we write the last command, which is return. However, you might now think, hmm, I sometimes want to turn off the script, right? Like, maybe I just want to get rid of it. You can get rid of it by clicking on this and searching it here and turning it off. Or you can simply do something like this. I do it with L and exit app. You actually don't need to return here, but let's keep it nice. And now we also want to fire it. For this, you want to use something that's easy enough to access. So let's say I press B. That's reasonably easy. You can obviously, I can also use something like page down, up on, or down, which I have on uh, my um, mouse, or something like middle mouse button, but I tend to use them in Minecraft, and so yeah, let's just send it to B. I will have the list of these hotkeys in the description, so you can find them there. I'll now demonstrate you something interesting. If we remove return from here, now we have to save it and run it. This usually appears, but that's not a problem. At least we know it started. Now I press R. And see that's really, really fast. Much better than I could ever do. And now let's fire. Yeah, as you can see, it reloads after firing. But this is not ideal, because what it does, it basically reloads twice. That's not really too fast, right? To fix that, all we need to do is we just need to do something like this. Send right mouse button. This will basically press it only for 
50 milliseconds or whatever interval you choose like if you if the game is laggy or something like that you want to set it to a lower amount or sorry higher amount and when it's less laggy then to a lower amount this is something you need to test for each game individually now let's fire really fast and now it also reloads Because it basically runs the second, it basically runs the second script right after it. Okay, let's stop it. If we put return down here, then we get a bit more control over it. Again, you need to run it, the whole thing again. Now, as you can see, I can freely move. I can use all of my keys while this is even aim with my hand while this is running. As you can see, I'm side strafing, I'm even jumping and side strafing while doing that. As you can see, it barely impacts anything, and depending on your layout of hotkeys you can do this really comfortably obviously this also works when we are flying which i can demonstrate let's grab an elytra if i find it in these new menus enter rockets Now we have to turn it on again because I typed the letter L. As you can see, I'm flying now. And I can. Let's bombard that poor tree again. Oh, actually, I don't have it reloaded, so let's reload. Yeah, as you can see, this is really dangerous. Obviously, if you switch like that to the rockets immediately, it's not ideal. Yeah, if someone will stand, in, stand here, they will get hit quite a bit. Especially if you practice this a bit more, I just did, and use better hotkeys. So yeah, I think that's about it for this video of a simple guide to auto hotkey. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for new updates on this. I will show you how to make much more advanced scripts and general guides for Minecraft and other games. So please subscribe and also liking the video would help me with the YouTube algorithm so more people know about this. Bye.